guys, it's Becca Boo here. Welcome to my channel. Today, I have a four looks, one palette video featuring the Ace Beauty Nostalgia Palette. Ooh, ah. Oh. <laughs> this is the palette. It is so beautiful. And I've been using it so much lately. And I've had some requests for tutorials on looks that I've done using this palette. So I figured, why don't I just put them all in this video as well as some additional looks so if you're interested in that please keep on watching and before we get into this i do have a discount code with ace beauty it is beckaboo you will save some money with that um it is an affiliate code which means i will receive a commission i'll also have a link down below so if you are interested in buying that please go check that out and without further ado let's get into this for look number one, I have the most beautiful fall look. Look at that, it's fall perfection. Uh, for each look today, I'm starting off with the ABH eye primer and spreading that all over my lid, making sure it is blended in and ready to go. So now, dipping into the Ace Beauty Nostalgia palette, she is a beauty, oh, look at her. Oh, ah. <laughs> I'm starting off with the shade hiking which is that kind of warm chocolatey like a rich chocolate color and an angled liner brush and i'm starting off with a wing shape so i like to really get this shape right here on the lash line area before i go in and drag this into my crease so that's what i'm going to do now is I'm gonna start dragging this into my crease. And then focusing on the tail once more to get that shape perfectly. And then I'm gonna start shading in the space in between that we left blank before. And of course, packing on the shadows to make sure they're nice and opaque. The next thing I am doing is taking this brush that has sort of a dome-like shape to it and I'm just kind of softly blending these out first before we apply another shadow on top. Next, I'm taking the shade Popsicle and I'm going to start applying that between the shade before and the lid. So we're gonna be transitioning the outer V shape into the lid shade, if that makes sense. Then we're taking the nude shade in the palette called Beach, and I'm gonna be packing this on to the lid so that we get a nice gradation of color. Going back in with Popsicle and a blending brush, I'm gonna be applying this on the inner brow area, so focusing it right there in that area. Moving on to the lower lash line, I'm taking the first shade that we used as well as the angled liner brush and I'm lining my lower lash line, smudging this out with a dome brush. So what I do on the top lash line is kind of what I mimic on the lower lash line. So now I'm taking the shade Popsicle, blending that out. And now I'm taking the gold shade in the palette and I'm adding this right on the inner third of my lower lash line just to give it a little bit of shimmer and a little bit of pop. Now I'm taking Max Whisper of Guilt highlighter shade and I'm adding this to the inner corner of my eye. Next going in with KVD's Ogogo liner and I'm adding this to my waterline. I have a little pop of orange in my, <laughs> in my waterline. Lashes go on. These are the Kiss lashes. I'll leave them down in the description box below. And this is the finished eye look. For my lips, I'm going in with MAC Chestnut Lip Liner and Sugar Pills Teacher's Pet Liquid Lipstick. And this is completed look number one. For look number two, I wanted to go smoky. So I have this pink smoky eye for you. Okay, starting off with the shade Raspberry, I'm going to start packing this in the outer V of my eye and softly blending around the crease as I go. And then I'm going to pack along the lid. And yes, blending in the crease as I go, like trying to be very soft about the crease. Because I actually did this look first and I like roughly packed it in the crease and then it was really hard to then blend it out so 
if you blend as you go it's much easier so then i'm taking the hot pink in the palette and i'm going to go around the edge of the shade before and work on blending this out Just take your time when blending out smoky eyes especially because I feel like the more time you take the better it's going to turn out. So I'm taking the shade Flower with a bigger blending brush and then blending out the previous shade so it goes from dark, medium to light. Then just picking up Beach and I'm going to go over the edge of that just to further blend this out. Next I'm taking Popsicle and I'm going to add this to the inner brow area like the previous <laughs> look. I just love a pop in the inner brow area. It's so strange, but it looks really cool. <laughs> Moving on to the lower lash line, I'm taking the Milani Picante Eyeliner and adding this to my waterline and slightly along my lower lash line. Next thing I'm doing is just smudging out that liner a bit and I'm going to be adding the shadows that I used below and then smoking them out. Next I'm taking the shade Heat and I'm adding this in the inner third of my lower lash line. Next I'm taking MAC Show Gold Extra Dimension Skin Finish. It's beautiful and adding this to the inner corner of my eye. Lashes on. These are the same lashes. I'm using the same lashes throughout the whole video. And then for my lips, I'm using Max Autumn Russet Liquid Lipstick, and this is finished look number two. Right, so for look number three, I wanted to add a little bit of difficulty to it, so I added in a cut crease. And for this, I'm starting off with the purple, that royal purple. And I'm going to start packing this into my crease and slightly winging it out. And as you can see, I am starting to blend this out like as I go. Because if I don't do this, then it's going to be a little bit too harsh and then it becomes really hard to blend. I'm taking a dual fiber brush next with nothing on it and I am blending that out softly. And then I'm picking up the shade Flip Flops on the same brush and I'm going to then blend out the previous purple shade and it makes it such a beautiful like gradient. I'm obsessed. Next I'm taking Flower on a bigger blending brush. This one's from Suva Beauty and I am then blending out the previous shade. Then I always like to go in and redefine the other colors in case they got blended away. Now I'm taking Beach and I'm just going to go over the brow bone area to make sure everything is nice and seamless. Now I'm taking ABH's eye primer again and I'm going to cut the crease. I'm using my favorite brush to do that which is from the craft store. It's a big brush but it has a really nice tip. Actually I do need to get another one because it's not as perfect as it once was. <laughs> I've used it so much. But what I'm doing is creating that really dramatic shape that looks like maybe like a whale is the best way to describe it. So dipping down and then going up high like that. So after I spend a million hours perfecting my crease, I'm then taking another brush and blending this product into the skin so it's not super wet and sticky because it's harder to pack shadows on. Actually, I wish I spent more time doing it because next I'm going in with the orange shade and I feel like it was still a little bit too wet for this. So just make sure you take the time to really blend that in. But I'm just taking that on a very small brush. This is actually from the craft store as well. And I'm just placing this along the crease and I'm stopping probably about two thirds across the lid. Then I'm taking more of my ABH eye primer and I'm going to make another crease line. So I'm following the shape of this, making it much smaller so that it's cleaner.
And then I cut it off right there. And now I'm going to be blending this product into the lid as well. Okay, so now I'm going back in with the purple and I'm packing this in the outer wing area. I was going to say outer V. Yeah, I guess so, outer V. Packing it right there. And then I'm going to pick up flip-flops and I'm going to then blend that out. Then I'm picking up beach and I'm going to be packing this on the lid. Then I'm going back in with flip flops and I'm going to be blending them together. Then taking Carnival on an angled liner brush, that's that royal purple shade, I'm just extending the outer V into a wing. Doing some more blending, making sure this is all nice and seamless. Blending, blending, blending. Then I'm just taking my eye primer and I'm making the wing super perfect and crisp. So what I decided to do off camera was add that shimmery orange to my lid. For the lower lash line, I'm taking what I used above below. So I'm using the royal purple, I'm using flip flops, and I'm using that shimmery orange, adding that to the inner third of my lower lash line. Next I'm taking KVD's Agogo liner again and adding this to my waterline. I wanted to kind of bring what I use in the crease into the lower lash line. Topped on my lashes and this is the finished eye look. For my lips, I went in with KVD's OG Lolita Lip Liner. Then I wanted to bring in an orangey tinge, so I put on Max Sushi Kiss lipstick and I kind of patted it on. And then I used my finger to blend it in with the liner. And then I was thinking glossy, so I went in with Milani's Luminoso Gloss, which is such a beautiful gloss. And this is completed look number three. For look number four, I was thinking multicolored, difficult, we gotta use that green, let's go ham. <laughs> so I'm starting off with Theme Park on a pencil brush and I'm adding this to the inner half crease of my eye. Then I'm picking up Water Slide and I'm gonna start blending this out. Now, I will admit the green is a little bit hard to blend out. There isn't like a shade deep enough to further blend it out. So I had to mix Water Slide and Theme Park in order to get this to blend. Next, I'm taking Carnival, that royal purple, and I'm adding this to the other half of my crease and slightly winging it out. Next, taking Flip Flops, I'm going to start to blend this out and I'm using sort of a bullet shape blending brush to give me more precise blending. Next, I'm picking up the orange shade and now I'm going to be blending this out. I decided with orange because it will further blend into the yellow on the other half. Now I'm taking popsicle and we're blending out the brow bone. Now at this point, you're probably going to say, Becca, this looks a little bit crazy, but trust the process, persevere, cut the crease, and when we're finished, it's going to look all good. So I'm taking this again in the, what are we calling this? The whale shape but not as exaggerated as the last one. So once I have my crease shaped down, I'm just blending the product into the skin. Now I'm taking the shade Popsicle and I'm packing this on the lid. I'm taking this about a third of the way because I'm then picking up Picnic, the hot pink, and adding this next to it. Switching back to the orange. I'm blending these together and now I'm picking up the red and I'm adding this next to the pink. So now I'm going in with raspberry and I'm going to be winging this out. I'm using an angled brush and really drawing that wing, filling that in. Moving on to the lower lash line, I am taking raspberry again and packing this on the outer third of the lower lash line. And then we're going in with the pink and then the light 
orange shade, peachy shade. Next I'm taking Water Slide and I am highlighting the inner corner of my eye with this. Then I'm taking KVD's Swoon Liner and I am lining my waterline. I need something else so I'm taking Heat and I'm adding this to my lid right there in the center. Give it a little pop. Popping on the lashes. And then for my lips, I'm going in with MAC Soar Lip Liner. And then for lipstick, I'm taking MAC Mandarin O Powder Kiss Lipstick. Alright guys, popped on my wig and this is completed. Look number four. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed the looks I created. Let me know which look was your favorite down below if you do decide to recreate any of them tag me on instagram i would love to see them give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy it subscribe to my channel if you're not already thank you so much for watching and hopefully i will see you on my next video bye guys